Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm NoCode, and you're watching the NoCode Tech on YouTube. And today, for your viewing pleasure, I have an unboxing. An unboxing of a used radio. I don't know if that's really a thing or not, but uh, I'm going to do it. So, stay tuned. Okay, so hey, check it out. Look, I got me uh, ICOM IC706 Mark II G. Came with the uh, kind of manual and a, uh, a nifty manual as well. So, no need to look at those. We'll set those aside. And we'll take a look at the box. The box is nice. I like this old style uh, cardboard and black that ICOM does sometimes. But what do I know? So, this is a all mode all band so if i understand correctly that's like hf plus six meters plus two meters plus 70 sems so and yeah we'll take a look if i can get it out i want to be very careful with her because what is this detachable front place or front face plate very pretty. Okay, so yeah, it comes with a uh, removable faceplate. Kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit of scratches and whatnots on there, but not too bad. We'll take a look later. Uh, microphone down there. And you got a little switch here for speakers or headphones. So, hey, you know, that's the front faceplate. What else do we got in the box? Again, I'm trying to be very, very gentle careful with the whole thing because you know reasons right here we have the uh, unit itself ah look at that so I got some pins here I believe that uh, it's gonna how is this Maybe, yep, just like that. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll have to edit that out where you saw my face. So it's got a metal bail, which is, there we go. Oh, what do got on the side here? Got some screws, screws, tops it down. Two antenna ports, we got a antenna one and Antenna 2, it doesn't say HF versus VHF or whatnot. Got a ground screw. Got ourselves a, probably for an ATU. That's a bit loose. I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not. But like, it's loose. Uh, power connector here. Huge old school half inch for the key. Got a microphone. Uh, it looks like two headphone jacks. I don't know what the proper name. And a couple of dins here, so... That's pretty cool. There was some more stuff in the box. Let's see what else was in there. Oh, I ran out of places to put stuff. I need a bigger table. What is this? Ah, yes. We have whatever the heck you call that in the back to a uh, Anderson power pole. And we got ourselves a microphone. And look at that. No uh, buttons there, no switches, but we got the uh, down, up, and the lock. The P -t -t -t. So, yeah, let me go get some other stuff and uh, we'll take a closer look at her real quick. Okay, so I got the, uh, uh, what, what was this again? <laughs> Sorry. The IC706 Mark II G here next to the Yezu 818. Um, now it's not really a, a good comparison with the uh, the Yezu here doing five watts on um, all bands and all modes, except for AM. AM is always less. It just no matter what. I don't know. It's a thing. Don't worry about it. So this is uh, five watts on HF, six meters, one one forty four and uh 430 i need more coffee guys i'm sorry whereas the uh 
uh, IC706 Mark IIG puts out 100 watts on HF and 6 meters, uh, up to, what's well, like 5 to 50 watts on 144, and 2 to 20 watts on 430 megahertz. So, kind of a different beast. This is more of a, I hate myself, and, you know, QRP is for heroes, and this is more like, you know, something to do when you don't want to hurt. Yeah, no, I'm going to plug it in here. I got my, uh, oh, hey, she turned on all by herself. Look at that, she's doing stuff. I got my BioNO battery here. Okay, folks. So I got the, uh, got this here next to the 818, and the first thing that I see is I forgot a microphone. Silly me. Here, stare at this ball thing until I get back. Okay, I'm back. That was fun, yes? So, right off the bat, immediate first impressions. Look at this screen. Look at the size of this thing. It is ginormous compared to this wee 818 looking screen over here. Microphones, oh, they're, you know, a little bit smaller, but they both got the PTT there. Uh, lock up, down. This one's got up, down, fast, no lock, but it's got the little, you know, tonal changey thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They both have two antenna outputs, whereas the A18's got the, uh, what's that, the PL259 in the back there and the BNC in the front, and I just got a little 90 degree BNC adapter there. This one's got them both in the back, and they're both PL259s, and that's stopped making sounds. Nope, it's still making sounds. I'll change the brightness on that screen. I'm going to read my little manual. Be right back. Just got quiet again. I think there's something that might be wacky with this thing. Maybe why I got it so cheap. Who knows? All right, folks, I got my uh, KD9 OLN antenna here, and we'll just... Uh, antenna 1 or Antenna 2. Push, then turn. Science. Oh, bless you, kitty. You had a bit of a sneeze. Yes, you did. It's okay. All right, so we're at uh, 146.520. Let me go get a uh, thingy mag jabber for this. Be right back. Okay, look. I got the, the BNC version of the KD9 OLN antenna. Haha. -ha. I'm funny. Turn her on. There we go. Let's go up to two meters. Okay, so we got the uh, 818 at the 14652. We got this one on the 14652. This is on low power. This one is low power as well, I believe. Three, four, five, six, one. Low power. Okay. She just died. Why did she die? I think the, the little internal batteries are they're probably dead. So let me go get some more batteries. We'll use a bow phone. Hmm. Let's uh, give her a whirl here. Testing, testing on a new radio, the ICOM IC706 Mark IIG. It did the thing. Don't worry, guys, I'm not good chunking. I properly identified off radio or off camera. Testing the Icon 706 Mark IIG. Didn't do anything. Uh, testing on the 706 Mark IIG. And it's not. Uh, even with it being a dummy load on the back there, it should be enough to pick up here for, uh, for the Fang, Fang, Fang Fong. Fang Fong's on full power. And it's not picking up. Microphone from the port down, down here to the port in the back. Nothing. Hmm. It's not picking up. Yeah, you can see. I'll go over here. I go there. One for six five two zero. For six five two zero. Hmm. 
is not working. Well, crap. All right, so when I key up, I get the, the, the S. The S meter reading. Crap, I ain't got bad radio. Okay, folks, so I moved over into, uh, into the shack here. I got her hooked up to my uh, off-center fed dipole out back. I'm going to start off on 20 meters, which is upper side bend. See if she receives anything. Channel starts at 2 watt. 14.225. So I should hear something. Why is... I'll try 40. Uh, 7.175 is the start. Nothing. I'm not hearing a darn thing. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja. Oh. Well, that's just independent of... Have I got that in the right, the right connector in the back for HF and six? Yeah, yeah. She's just not, uh, she's not hearing. Oh crap, guys! Oh no. Maybe if I tap it. Hey. Come on, work. Just kidding. That never works unless it's an old TV. Slapsolutely nothing. Except the occasional crackle. <laughs> Not a darn thing. I mean, I know I'm flying through here, but I should at least get up. Something, right? Okay, folks, it is many hours later many hours <laughs> uh, so sad uh so i have her hooked up to my uh j pole up on the, the, the roof there outside the copper j pole and uh if we can uh <clears throat> how do we do this on camera over yonder there kind of towards the back i got the uh yezu ft 400 so I'm putting out 50 watts out of her, right, um, onto the J-pole up on the roof. And then I put a, where did I put it? Yeah, and then I put an, on the back here, a two meter, and it didn't pick it up. And that's probably, I don't know, 15 feet that way right like right above where i'm at is just crawl space then roof and then antenna so if it's not picking up 50 watts from like 12 feet away and when i go to key up it doesn't doesn't tx right and and if we go down to like what is this 20 meters Math? I don't know. I'm so tired. If we go down here and we just let it sit for a bit, right? It makes these <laughs> type sounds. But not like it's receiving a signal that's flying across the band. But just, I I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to leave the camera leave the camera on so maybe they'll catch it. But it does things like that and it makes that weird sound. Which doing some internet research leads me to believe that it's got a bad PLL circuit. PLL. Papa Lima Lima. I don't know exactly what that means, but I think it's something like, you know, you, you mix the frequencies and then, yeah, I don't know. So, there's definitely something wrong with her. Because other than that, she seems to be in fairly decent shape. And uh, yeah, update when there's something to update about. But right now, did you hear that? Don't know if that came through. Yeah, I don't know. 
Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anything. I just, I'm just a no-kota. Right? Aha. Anyway, Jack in the Box. We'll get it working. Thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day. And bye-bye.